Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Kabir Considers. In this video, we're going to react to Ricky Gervais, If I Was Born As A Trans. Now, this is going to be an interesting one. Um, like, it's quite a uh, sensitive topic. Like, you know, a lot of people have uh, quite, you know, extreme views either way. <clears throat> so it's going to be interesting to see how Ricky kind of, uh, uh, to see, you know, how he tackles this because... He can either try and, you know, walk on eggshells or he can just be himself and like say what he wants to say. I'm inclined to believe he's probably going to go towards the latter. Uh, psychology, psychiatry, neuroscience, it's still in its infancy. And we still know so little about the brain. And 150 years ago, we knew nothing. It was just, it was all guesswork, right? And uh, like the, everything was just mental. If you weren't a white, sort of heterosexual, married, Christian man, right? If you deviated too far for that, mental. They just went mental, like that. Like homosexuality, mental, mental illness, you were put in an asylum for life, or worse, tortured. Women who fell pregnant out of wedlock, mental, asylum for life, right? And now we understand things more, we're more tolerant, we're... I think it's going too far the other way, though, because now nothing's mental. You can't find somewhere that someone's... Nothing is considered mental. Everything is a syndrome or an addiction or a preference, right? I could have my legs removed, have wheels put on, identify as a pram, right? <laughs> and if you sound mental, you're a bigot, right? Now... <laughs> That's a bit hack, that joke, now, isn't it? Oh, identify as a thing, then. Right? It's a bit old-fashioned, right? But I'm going to leave it in to annoy people, right? <laughs> because that's the bit that will offend people. Same as humanity. I talk about AIDS, famine, cancer, the Holocaust, rape, paedophilia. But no, the one thing you mustn't joke about is identity politics. The one thing you should never joke about is the trans issue, right? They just want to be treated equally. I agree. That's why I include them. You know? <laughs> but they know I'm joking about all the other stuff, but they go, no, no, I must, he must be... No, he must mean that, right? Like, like, a joke is a window to the comedian's true soul. It's just... That's just not the case. Our, our take on any view to make the joke funniest, our pretend to be right-wing, our pretend to be left-wing, our pretend to be clever, our pretend to be stupid, whatever makes the joke funnier without prejudice. OK, full disclosure, in real life, of course I support trans rights. I support all human rights, and trans rights are human rights, you know? Uh, live your best life, use your preferred pronouns, be the gender that you feel that you are. But meet me halfway, ladies, lose the cock. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> and it's, it's mad to think joking about something means you're anti it. Like, I made a joke about self-ID. Like, in fact, I wish self-ID had been around when I was a kid. I'd have used it to get shit. I'd have gone to my mum, Mum, I'm trans. She'd have gone, what? I'd have gone, I'm either trans or I need a new bike. Right? <laughs> She'd have gone, you need a new bike. <laughs> I'd have gone, you're the boss. <laughs> but I, uh, I grew up in the 60s, Jesus. I had, like, Victorian parents. We hadn't heard of any of this. But what if I was a teenager now? in these really woke, progressive times, right? And I had really cool, hippie parents, right? And I went, Mother, Father, I'm trans. They'd go, oh, goody, that's so fucking trendy, right? <laughs> and my dad would go, Bagsy, I picked the vagina. I'd go, thank you, Daddy, <laughs> right? <laughs> right? <laughs> then there'd be, like, a montage, right? And I'd go to the hospital, I'd have all the electrolysis, I'd grow my hair, right? I'd have... I'd have a big phone, I think. No, no, if someone else is paying, I'll have the big one, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Dad trying to buy me a minge, fuck you, Dad, right? I'd have a, I'd have a big fanny, boobs, right? And, uh, <laughs> right? <laughs> no, and I'd, 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 I'd come out and I'd emerge, I'd be a real woman, I'd be Vicky Gervais. I'd be Vicky Gervais, <laughs> right? Vicky Gervais. Yeah, and I'd be a, no, I'd be a real woman, right? <laughs> and uh, you can't change your sexuality, so I find women attractive, so I'd be... I'd be a lesbian. I'd be a, a little, little lesbian fella called um, Vicky Gervais, right? <laughs> right? Right? And uh, probably be a butch oh lesbian, because of all the testosterone up till then, right? Also, I like, I like the fashion. Jeans, black T-shirt, short hair, 
Beard. No, I'd be... <laughs> no. I'd be a real lesbian called Vicky Gervais, lesbian about town, right? And so I'd, uh, I'd go down to Brighton, right? And uh, I'd, I'd go into a, a lesbian bar, right? And I'd go, hi, uh, pool table, winner stays on. I'll be there all fucking night. Uh, <laughs> right. right. This joke isn't worth it for the punchline. The punchline is shit, really. <laughs> so just enjoy the journey. He just wanted to get all this out, for sure. He just wanted to get all of this out. Right, <laughs> right. So I'd look around and I'd find one of them pretty lesbians, right? <laughs> so, this is so childish and misinformed. It hurts. Right, I'm going to leave it in, though. Right, so, no, I'd, fi I'd find a pretty lesbian. I'd go, I'd go, I'd go... <laughs> this is pathetic, right? Even, even for me, I can't do this with a fucking straight face. Right, right, right. <laughs> And I'd go over that, I, I'd go over, I'd go, I'd go, hi, you a lesbian? She'd go, yeah, yeah. Are you a lesbian? I'd go, yeah, just a bit, look at that, right? <laughs> and she'd go, that is a lovely fanny. I'd go, mm, fucking cost enough. She'd go, what? I'd go, nothing, right? And then I'd, so I'd, be, I'd be wooing her, right? I'd be doing all, like, like... like... <laughs> I'd be sort of, like, complimenting her on her sort of lesy ways. I'd, be, I'd go, uh... On her lesy I'd go, ways? Oh, I'd go, I love you, Doc Martens, right? She'd go, oh, thanks, right? <laughs> Doc <Right? laughs> Such a I, go, show. <laughs> I go, oh, there's the big earrings, aren't they? Right? So, yeah, right. And then she goes, do you want to come back to my place and les off? I go, yeah, just a bit, right? Yes. So we go back, we get naked, I'd boob her up. I don't know why you, I'd <laughs> minge her off. I'd do that one. I'd, I'd do that one. Definitely do that one, right? I'd Google it, wouldn't I? I'd fucking Google it, right? And I'd, right? And then she'd go, oh, do you want to wear a strap-on dildo and give me a good seeing to? I go, yeah, right. So I put a, a strap-on on, I put the, put the big dildo there on my new fanny like that and tie it at the back. And that's when I'd kick myself. <laughs> <laughs> what? That, I, that joke, I definitely feel like, was Ricky just basically trying to look for an excuse to get all of his views out on, uh, on, on trans people. <laughs> like... I do see what he's saying because, you know, I think most people are, you know, the vast majority of people that I think are okay with anyone living their life however they want, really. Um, yeah, like, honestly, I, I don't think I've ever met someone who is, you know, anti, like, I, I, I've never met one personally. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.